So in this question, we're asked to find, to show that any, uh, any branch of log z is analytic. Um, now to do this, we're going to use the Cauchy-Riemann conditions. Now the Cauchy-Riemann conditions um, need you to write uh, the function in terms of, uh, function of z in terms of x and y, where z equals x plus i y. Um, so now normally with log z, we write z in polar form, and then it's very easy. So we're going to have to write it instead using x and y. So, well, what is, uh, well, um, how can we do that? Well, we have to, well, we can start by writing in polar form. And, um, then convert to Cartesians. So we've got log r to the i theta plus 2n pi. Um, obviously, the modulus is going to be um, root of x squared plus y squared. So we end up with um, half Okay. Log of x squared plus y squared. And then log of this. So the angle, well, I'm going to cheat and just use the um, inverse tan of uh, y over x. I know this is only valid for theta between um, minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2, but I'm going to be lazy and just, just leave it like that. Um, and then we've, we we have to keep this uh, so, so it's i, and then we also have this plus two n pi. So the the uh, the n gives us which branch branch we're talking about. Okay, so um, I can simplify this slightly and just um, take out a half and write it like this. So I need to write this, well this is now a uh, convenient split into uh, the real bit which we call u, so we're calling this, this bit here is u of x, y, and this is the imaginary part, so we've got plus um, i, v of x, y, so this is thing here is what we're going to call v. So to, to test the Cauchy-Riemann, well what are the cauchy riemanns So we've got du by the x, we need to know what du by the x and du by the y and dv by the x and dv by the y and test whether uh, pairs of them are equal or not. So du by the x um, differentiate log, we end up with 2x times a half, so we end up with x, and then divided by x squared plus y squared, and dv by dx, sorry, okay, I'll do, I'll do sorry, I'll do to u by the y first, as I do, so du by the y is going to be the same except with y on top, symmetry and we also need to, that we need dv by dx um, dv by dx is a bit of a pain you have to differentiate this expression here well if you differentiate tan you get 1 over 1 plus or well, differentiate of tan x is 1 over 1 plus x squared so here we have a function of a function so okay well let's do the the 1 over 1 plus x squared first so it's 1 over 1 plus y over x all squared. Then we have to um, differentiate the y over x. So that gives us um, minus y over x squared. So we multiply the bottom by x squared. So if we multiply the bottom by x squared, um, 
this becomes x squared here and we get rid of this one here. So we end up with minus y x squared plus y squared on the, on the bottom. And finally, we want um, dv by dy, which is slightly easier. Um, then we just get the um, same thing as before. This 1 over x. Sorry. Uh, yeah. 1 over x. When we differentiate this with respect to y. Um, we still get the 1 over we still get the 1 over 1 plus x, y over x squared, but we end up with a 1 over x. Um, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by, so this is times 1 over x, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x, so that's going to give me another x on the top, and I'm going to have x squared on the bottom, so again, I'm going to get x squared and get rid of this. So I end up with x over x squared plus y squared. So the, to check the cauchy riemann um, cauchy riemann says that du by dx is equal to dv by dy, so that checks out. So du by dx equals dv by dy, tick. And also that du by dy is equal to minus dv by dx, which we see is also correct. So that shows that um, any branch, so I can choose n to be anything, um, the uh, log function is analytic. The last part of the question then asks you to uh, find the derivative f dashed. So the derivative f dashed, um, remember that f itself we've written as u plus iv, um, which I've now left off, but anyway. Um, the derivative, uh, the whole point of the derivative is it's independent of the direction. So I can choose to find um, f dashed uh, by differentiating, differentiating, differentiating f with respect to x, or I can differentiate with respect to i, y. But the easiest option is actually differentiate with respect to x. So um, I can work it out this way, df by dx which is um, du by dx plus i dv by dx. And I just read off those values. So it's x over x squared plus y squared plus i times dv by dx, which is here. So that's a, with a minus sign. So I've got minus i y over x squared plus y squared. Um, we actually know what this should be. Um, this actually helps us simplify. So we end up with x minus i y over x squared plus y squared. Now, we know that this should be, or expect it to be 1 over z. This doesn't immediately look like 1, one over z till you realize, of course, <coughs> that we can factor this into x plus i y minus i y and then this and this cancel we end up with x plus i y which is 1 over z which is the answer we expect for the derivative log z